Friends, denizens of the internet, hello, welcome back to another exciting episode of Get Even over here at Lost Time Gaming. I am Devo, we're jumping back into the shoes of Cole Black, and clearly he's just... Mr. Black, I think that something is wrong with his memory again. It's becoming highly unstable. I will try to fix it. In the meantime, I'm sending you a picture. I need you to use it to exit. Wait, so... You're... Yeah. Your crazy augmented reality device that uses my memories against me uh, is somehow not working as intended. Also, you're telling me to leave, but I can keep going. Oh, I can't keep going. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say. It's like, yeah, sneak all the way over here and then now do it again. Whoa, where are we now? I'm in that filing cabinet again, aren't I? But what are these? Weapons, Mr. Black. A personal armory, if you will. I thought you said I shouldn't kill. Something about distorting memories. The more evidence you uncover, the less we risk distortion. You're saying that I need to collect all the evidence for each board? That's up to you, Mr. Black. But if you do, the memories become more stable, which means I can reward you with a new toy every now and then. Fair enough. So what you're saying is, if I heard that correctly, is that the more, like, the boards that I fully complete grant me a weapon in the armory that I'm not supposed to use because it damages the memories. You Here's a gun that you shouldn't use ever... Oh, we didn't get we got we got barely anything on that yeah that's funny i thought i got everything there but apparently i missed quite a bit 50 percent. i missed half of that so great or not great depending on how you look at it let's try this again if you make me do the exact same thing again i'm gonna be ticked i'm just saying that right now ah it seems to have stabilized. Proceed. Oh, okay. I like how it seems to have stabilized means there's enemies here now. Like, great, I'm, I'm glad. And up the stairs we go. Yeah, that's a bit confusing that the, uh... The game's like, here's a gun, and then immediately it's like, oh yeah, by the way, don't use it like ever. You mean don't use it like ever how does that work also this is extremely perilous also also I have n oh, shit. oh oh yeah oh hi how are you yeah Extremely perilous. Ah, <laughs> it seems to have stabilized. Proceed. Oh, you mean like I died and therefore it's stabilized? Okay, great. Also, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but that loading or the the saving icon that pops up is something that it kind of looks like a. A representation of like how a neural network works and I'm not super familiar with those but uh, I think I'm right any chance you want to look the other way buddy no I, 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 I whipped that one. That one, that one's on me. No, I screwed it up. No. Oh. Okay, apparently nobody's physically capable of finding me from that one instance, so great. I screwed it up, but nobody died. Well, I mean, the guy I shot a bunch of times died. Enemy 
Yeah, this this sounds like some nice relaxing and exploring. Yeah, I'm I'm going for it. Screw it. Nope. Hello? Somebody somebody didn't sound too good in here. Oh hi. Hey, hear me out, please. Just just hear me out. What do you want? You're here for Jasper, yeah? They've got him back there. And why are you here? They locked me up because I was helping him out, but I only did it out of fear, I swear. I've seen him kill people just for disagreeing with him. <laughs> please, please, if you leave me here, they'll kill me. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't really possess the ability to let you out, so I'm going to go now. Bye. Again, no real idea. What was that? Oh, it's the weird clock noise again. Which I'm sure is totally innocuous and is not, you know, significant at all. Jasper has been working under the radar for almost a decade. Was in the army in the 90s, where he first made contact with people who now provide him work as a mercenary. Got discharged. Likes his recreational narcotics, pot, cat, and ecstasy. Makes him money selling it all on the side. Tends to deal in small amounts to keep a low profile, unpredictable and erratic, but the best merc I know. Okay, that was like a weird love letter to Jasper about Jasper's abilities. Oh no, this hell. We've been here before. From Rose Atkins, Jasper, he knows, and he's coming for you. Meet me back at the mansion. I'm on my way. Rose. Okay. Still no memory of Jasper. Found his phone, though. Oh, maybe that's the, the missus from that one note we read before. Oh, and the, it collapsed. He brought me out, Red. There's no pain. I, I can think this time. Red, did you see that? We've got a name and a place. Rose and a mansion. Red. Red? Are you there? Red! Too busy to answer my calls. We need to give them the memory stick and cash in. Thought you'd be happy. It's almost over. I was going to say the date on that was four years before the Jasper thing. Red, hey, were you watching? Who's Rose? And where is this mansion? Red! We still haven't finished our investigation into this Jasper business, Mr. Black. What do you mean, haven't finished? We've got a name, a place. Jasper's dead. We need to... I will say what we need to do, Black. You are here at my convenience, and you wear... My technology. Do not fucking trust me! Nobody crosses me. Okay. Okay, fine. Then what do I do? Red, I said what do I do? Oh, never mind. I'll just proceed, shall I? It was too late, but I found out that he was working with Rose Atkins. Okay, well, what's the one before? Jasper Prano was there. I was trying to get to him. Huh. Really just snapshots into, like, Black's past, but, like... Over oh, really makes much sense. Nothing in this game really makes makes much sense when you think about it. That's the mind palace. We don't need that. Fire exit down. Well, I would like to leave. The the deep base going on there is making me a little apprehensive. Apprehensive? Yeah, that's the that's the correct usage of the word I'm looking for. I only got two bullets left too, which is probably not good. Hello? Hey, buddy. 
Who's knocking stuff off? Don't do that. Art therapy sessions. Art therapy sessions every Monday and Friday at 4 p.m. in Building C. All patients are welcome. Great, that sounds awesome. No, uh, no weird UV stuff, which is good, I guess. There's a lot of manch or a lot of yeah, a lot of mansions, a lot of mattresses. So I'm kind of glad there isn't uh, anything on the UV light. Oh, good, another one of these. Patient's disease summary report. Patient Dansky Stephen. Wicked may not be a medical term, but Stephen's father left. Stephen's left hand is surely wicked. I've read the poems and stories he wrote with that arm, and the feeling of dread I felt left me speechless. Amputation may be our only option in this case. If your hand makes you stumble, chew it off, the Bible says. Dr. Benway. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. Something, something tells me is we've got to be worried about the doctor as well as the patients now. At first, Dr. Benway was very reluctant towards my idea of bringing art psychotherapy to Lithurst, but now he finally seems to be satisfied with the results. I'm generally surprised with the progress patient 2-19 made in the last two weeks. He always feels guilty about the things he did, but wouldn't go into details. And now he's writing about it. He's trying to communicate his feelings for the very first time since he got here. I am making progress. Dr. Amanda Barnes. Well, I, you sound significantly less crazy than uh, the other doctor, so that's good. We just did a loop. Okay, I was like, wait, where are we going? Okay, uh, if, do bass violin or cello or whatever that is, it's really freaking me out. So if you could just... Who the office? If you could just dial it back, that would be great. Why is it speeding up? Why is it speeding up? The more I think about the Puppet Master, the more gaps I see in my past, and the holes in my memories only get bigger. All the moments I can't remember clearly, all the things I've done not having full control over my own actions. The Puppet Master may look like one of us, but that's just a disguise. There's a shadow on him, a mark under his skin. I see him in my dreams. I've tried to kill him many times, but he just keeps coming back, telling me that no one can deceive the Prince of Lies. DK. Okay, that's great. Not, but you know, we're gonna say it's great. Just to. Uh... Oh, there's a mannequin getting one with itself over there. That's pretty fun, actually. I kind of like that. Cole Black, if you could just stop breathing altogether, because it's it really freaks me Why out when you, you do, do that. that. What? Why did you paint your prosthetic leg black? It's depressing. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, and I was hoping you're cured. I am cured. Your leg was sick, remember? That's why I had to cut it off. I know you loved it, but sometimes we have to let go of the things we love the most. Hmm? How's the other leg? She's fine. A bit sad, maybe. Her sister was amputated. They were twins. Mm, I see. So maybe they should be together. Yeah, all right, I'll think about it. Uh, it's like, oh, so maybe we, we should just cut both your legs off. Like, I mean, no, but something tells me you were going to reach that conclusion either way. Evacuation room. Oh, hey, what do we got? It's party time? He left us. Abandoned us. The puppet master left us. Also, that puppet's only got one leg. I can't take it anymore. Can't face it. Can't face it. Safety, shelter, comfort. That's why we're here. That's why we're all here. Okay, look, looked like he was doing some really slow break dancing there for a second. Also, I can't. There we go. I was gonna say I can't. I can't mess with the phone. Why? Oh, it's because I'm scrunched up against the glass. Okay. Seems like there's nothing really to scan here. Oh, hi, mannequin. Most of the inmates I've met talk a great deal about the war. We all have flashbacks of the things we've seen. 
the things we've done. When I first woke up in my cell, I thought that this must be some kind of military experiment, making soldiers face their traumas. So is the puppet master our commander-in-chief, or are we all captives of our greatest enemy, DK? Um... I don't know. Those are those are good questions. I do not have the answer to. You know what I mean? It's like, sure. I'm gonna say one of those things is probably right. That's weird on the wall there. I don't like that. I don't like a lot of things in this place, if we're gonna be honest. Freak me out one way or the other. Oh! Switch it! And doomed us all! One left to spread the word of Caesar. All is the way here. He will come and see a conquer again. My liege, you are here. I knew you would come. Ever since that day at ADS, you let me live, remember? And now I know why. Pass me that crowbar. Let me out, my Caesar. What, what crowbar? You got a crowbar? Oh, you, there is a crowbar. Also, pal, the phrase I think you're looking for is Veni Vidi Vici. Uh, maybe you said it in a different tense, and that's why I didn't understand it, but, uh... Oh, here we go. Dr. James Evans, Psychiatric Private Practice, 167 Victoria Road, Birmingham, West Midlands. Dear Mr. Boyce, as you already know, you've been diagnosed with clinical depression. The tragic event at ADS clearly took a toll on you, but I think I know how we can get you the help you need. My good friend, Dr. Amanda Barnes, organizes our therapy sessions for patients coping with emotional and psychological trauma. So I strongly suggest contacting her as soon as possible, Dr. James Evans. And also, this guy's calling me Caesar, so clearly he's like really just all kinds of cookies and cray cray. But you know what? Uh, I, I don't. I, I can't trust anything anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you this crowbar. Red's done a number on you too. Hey, say this. Go. Please, you, my Caesar. This world is yours. It always was. I'm not Caesar, but thanks. Okay, bye. I'm gonna go before you open your door now. Oh, you open your door. Or did somebody else open your door? What's going on? Panic? Maybe I should panic. That's probably a good idea. Panic. By panic, I mean reload my gun. And then take it and put it away again. Okay, you done? I, I want to read this now. The puppet master loves both art and artists, but his art is bigger than life. All the people, their plans and dreams hang as if by string over darkness. He chooses who will be saved and who will fall. DK. Okay. Great. Mine! Down. Target neutralized. Thanks for coming at me with your... Oh, you were unarmed. Okay, that... That doesn't make me feel better about my decision to shoot you. I mean, it... Let's, let's take a look. Yeah, you're just regular build. We're in a bandana over your face, which is a little retro, but... Yeah, I, I don't know. We definitely killed that guy. How about you? You okay, buddy? It's been a while since we had the scan around. Anything? Nope. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you to it there. You enjoy yourself. It's uh Ooh, hello inbox. Rufus. He's a broken man because of you. This job was his way out. Our way out. We were gonna break free and live our lives, but you destroyed it all. What did we do to deserve this? I don't know. I don't even know what's going on, so so maybe just shut up. Whoa. Red, how are you doing this? I'm not Mr. Black. You are. An imprecision of the technology. What the fuck? How is that even possible? Oh, that's mannequins walking around. I don't like that none. I don't like that at all. real question is, what am I doing right now? 
I have no idea. I don't I don't think this is the right thing to do. No, nope, I'm no I'm definitely like 90% sure this is not the correct thing to do. Oh, oh, you're coming this way. That's bad. Okay, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Running, running. Okay, I'm supposed to go over here, apparently. Nope, no, you can't see me. I'm invisible. Not true, I'm totally visible. Crap. Oh, hi, more mannequins. Yep, turn to the left there. Thank you. It's all, it's all, it's all fine here. How are you? Oh, crap, crap. No, that's bad. Okay, no. Nobody, nobody saw anything. I'm going for it. Whew, <laughs> made it. Like a glove. Apologies, Mr. Black. The Pandora can be temperamental. I assure you that all anomalies have now been dealt with from my end. For now. I'm getting tired of temperamental. We are dealing with a prototype, Mr. Black. View it as fascinating. Not tiring. Yeah, easy for you to say. You're not the one getting shot. Also, don't tell me how to view things. Uh, that's something for me to do and you to shut the heck up about. Also, the achievement uh, we just got called Overdose is descriptor. It reads, survive a bad trip in the asylum garden. And also, the doctor definitely, like, cursed us out before, right? So, uh... Not sure why we're just gonna start listening to him again. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Art therapy sessions may. Group 1 patient list. Got Walt Kaufman, John Keating, Brian Warner, David Kane. Name that's scribbled out that I can't really read. Looks like Stephen... Stephen something with a B... There's John Bonham, and then there's a name that's even more crossed out that I definitely can't read. And there's Ben Willard down at the bottom. Great. I'm glad we learned the people taking art therapy. Really rounds out our knowledge of all the people in the asylum here. You know, the abandoned asylum that's in disrepair. I used to make clothes out of human skin. White albino coats with shiny teeth buttons. Black shirts from the finest African material tendon belts covered with soft tissue taken from newborn bodies and yes even fat insulated pants the patient's delusions were extremely complex but they were just delusions sometimes he seemed completely sane therapy and proper medication would do miracles for him i thought then one day he disappeared maybe he got out i asked nervously standing in front of the men's room impossible the only person i've seen was a redhead looked nothing like him but the door we found only an empty shell of what once was my patient a suit so perfect it would have fooled anyone and on its side a half meter long zipper okay well that's uh that's disturbing that's that's greatly disturbing i'm glad we uh oh no it's art therapy i'm glad we read that Oh, that was probably just art therapy. Maybe that was like a, 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 a clever ruse. Okay, uh, boom, boom, gun. Yeah, that's all pretty bad. Black, Ramsey, Grace, Jasper, Rose. Patient 219. Oh, okay, I only saw the first three people. I'm pretty sure we're the bottom right guy. I don't know. I'm having trouble uh, not only memorizing all this, but like trying to dict or dedicate it to memory and then sift through it later. It's kind of a hassle. Also, I don't like the fact that there's a there's like a monster glow in here. Yeah, that's pretty messed up. So is that? I'm glad. I'm glad we're looking. We're taking the time to look at this. It's really great. Oh, the puppets, yeah! Let's look at the puppets. Surely nothing can go wrong. Oh, that ain't it. There we go. Great. I'm, I'm glad about all this. Oh, hello. All of the believers, they're not at all like me. Like the mad kettle and hat guy. The fuck you up, you see. They'll keep on their believing all day and all week long. 
They pray and they believe and sing their stupid fucking songs. So I would gladly crush their legs in and poke out all their eyes and see them crawling till the end and watch as each one dies. And as for that prick believer in his stupid fucking hat, a drop of poison in his cup, what we would wa what we what would we all think of that? Well, first of all, it'd probably be pretty difficult to say out loud, and then secondly, he would die. And we'd be like, oh, he's dead, great. We, we would, probably wouldn't think too much beyond that point. Okay, let's, uh... Hello? Oh, you again. Ah, little black cat, in from the garden. Oh, are you enjoying the party? Shall I let you in? Oh, for the gas lamp? Yes, 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 I, I would. Only someone's turned off all the water. <laughs> There's only some clever little cat could turn it back on. Do I look like a fucking plumber? No, open no. the door. Yes, that's what we need. You can do it. I'll open the door. The button's right here. I... I'm too thirsty to push it. <laughs> oh, he must have tea. Oh. Oh. Right. Anyway. Where the pipes lead? Nobody knows. Give them a twist, and the water explodes. One down, but how many more? Quickly now, quickly, and I'll open the door. Okay. Doing a little solving the plumbing issue here. It's, that's great. I'm, I'm glad we're doing that. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. I, uh... I'm pretty sure I just opened the I'm pretty sure I just opened the drawers here and that the drawers placed my character model on top of it and now I'm wedged uh, into the ceiling because I cannot move yep can't I can I can play with the phone and eh eh no that that no oh oh eh Nope, I am proper stuck now. Yep, okay, so that seems like a good place as any to leave this episode. So, that being said, that's all the time I have for today's episode today. Thank you everybody so much for watching another exciting episode of Get Even. Things are getting out of hand now, and I'm not sure who to believe, who to trust, or what's real, which is great. That being said, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, get subscribed. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about my gameplay, my commentary, or anything else in general. That being said, thanks for watching, and as usual, I'll catch you all on the flip side.